Dave. Dave. Hi, um, Casemiro was obviously excellent tonight. How important is he going to be in achieving the goals you want this season? And are you, are you still surprised when you see him play that well that Real Madrid were willing to sell him to Manchester United? Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm happy did it. <laughs> and uh, but you see also in World, uh, World Cup, he's a magnificent player. And um, so uh, our my analysis was before the season we needed that sixth position, and he is fulfilling that sixth position. Uh, we in the preseason I remember we had a lot of discussions about uh, in in this room, uh, but you need the right player, and definitely we have the right player. And I'm really happy for Manchester United for this team uh, to. Uh, to have him uh, because he is um, racing at the limits for Manchester United. Jeremy. Hi Eric. Um, you mentioned <coughs> finance yourself a couple of times, that's been the right financial uh, deal to bring in a, uh, a striker. Doesn't seem to be much money for you. How realistic is it to bring in a player that's good enough in Manchester United as a striker? <laughs> it's always difficult. Strikers are expensive, and especially in the winter. Uh, but uh, you have to set the limits high, um, uh, and we are looking for. So maybe we have to be creative. But we do everything what we have in our power to get that done. To get the right players in who is fitting in the balance of the front lines. Is it about a 50-50 chance you can do this? Is that how you rate it? Yeah, I know. I, I don't think you can you can judge that and uh, uh, and rate it uh, because it's about uh, it's about timing, it's about availability, it's about so many circumstances are playing a role in that. And yeah, uh, let's be fair. It's now uh, 27th of December. Yeah? The window is not even started, so it's a long period. Paul, Lissandro Martinez, we're back for the Wolves here. Um, uh, when it's good, he is. Um, he arrived in Manchester. So, um, is he the, sober? Uh, <laughs> pardon? Is, is he sober? Is he sober? I, I think so. <laughs> no, I'm sure. I'm sure he is. Uh, yes. What kind of impact do you think that will have on him that, that he's now a world champion? How much of a, a boost do you think he will? Bring oh, to I think it's definitely a boost. I think you. You. I, I think he already is the player who has. He's. Uh, uh, he's convinced of himself and he has a uh, high belief, but I think also this, um, this experience will strengthen me even more and he has to bring it in, in the squad. I think that Argentine, had they played to win uh, in, um, in contradiction to many other nations uh, who play not to lose. So, and I think also that mentality he showed several times uh, in Manchester United, uh, be proactive. And that's what I like. And that uh, also when it's, when it's difficult to stand up and when he can show that even more, it will help us even more. Final two questions, Mike, Samuel. Mike. I ask about the Sanders. I mean, off the start he had at the, at the start of the season, did you ever have any kind of doubts at all about, about whether he would get to the level that, that you wanted here in England? Who? Licha. No, I didn't have that doubt. and uh, That's why I, I brought him in. Because I know there is um, a, is a high potential. Um, and if he works good, and then he can... There's a huge progress, there's a room, a huge space for improvement. So, and now he's coming, uh, returning from the World Cup. Hey, there's also uh, uh, yeah, not a challenge to go hey, because uh, you, um, uh, if you are that experience, they're so emotional, and now you have to manage that as a player hey, because um, uh, opponents will be even more uh, tougher against them, and that is uh, it's a good challenge. And uh, if you survive the challenge, you're going to be a better player. And that's the player like Lisandro Martinez is. And he likes performance of he likes challenges. Last question, Samuel. Eric, I know we've asked you a lot about James Sancho, but have you got a date for him to come back in yet? Because he's he's been away training in the Netherlands for a long time, he's not played in two months. There has to come a time where he has to come back into squad training. Yes, of course there's coming a time, but that uh, the time is not now. But he's making progress and um yeah, we will see uh, when he can, when when he is uh, ready to return into the squad.
Is, is he still in the Netherlands? Or is he back in Manchester? He's back in Manchester. He's training at Carrington on his, on his own. He will start in individual training, yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah.